All right, hey everyone, it's uh, October 11th and we are 30 days exactly away from the new Reach and Retail Investors Conference down in Miami. It's November 11th and 12th. We're gonna be down at South Beach at the Betsy Hotel, um, one of the only hotels in the country to have a Michelin star, which is apparently something that the Michelin group is doing now. Um, and I realized I hadn't put anything up here on YouTube to, to talk about it. So anybody who isn't necessarily an FMS pro or on the FMS email list doesn't really know about it. Um, so I'm a little behind on getting this out there, but um, that's because we've been so busy getting that together and then FMS in 2025 in January. So just to give you kind of an overview, what we're doing is we're putting together this conference to be the first conference that's focused exclusively on kind of how um, companies can reach uh, retail investors, right? So that means... Uh, Public companies, the crowdfunding world, the reggae world, people who do an online capital raise. Um, we're bringing together the financial publishing space, the financial media space, the um, capital markets kind of side of things um, into one room to start um, a conversation about what's working across the board for different aspects of um, getting things in front of the retail investors. Um, we have a bunch of public companies coming who are who are kind of interested in figuring out how they can get their story out to places. We have platforms, we have uh, investment bankers. Uh, coming, we have um, quite a few people, some financiers, people who referred maybe a hundred million dollars worth of investor relations media spend um, across all the companies that they pushed to, to different agencies to help them get that those company stories out. Um, and so, I just want to kind of give you a quick, just explanation of what all this is and and why we're doing it, right? Or why I decided to do this. Um, this to me is one of the biggest areas of growth um, in kind of digital financial. Um, it's part of. Uh, I would say um, the reggae, the Jobs Act, and the reggae, which which gave us crowdfunding in, in reggae, that that side of the business is, has grown quite a bit. It's still a small niche space. I mean, they're only raising you know several several hundred million a year, probably across the whole industry. Um, but it's growing, right? And it's really interesting because in that particular model, what you have is capital raise merging very much with like the direct marketing e commerce funnel models. Um, and it's doing really well. So we have folks who come to FMS who are, you know, um, have raised, you know, 10, 15, 20 million um, using that model. We, we've had, you know, Rebecca um, and Matt who, you know, founded the Dealmaker, which is one of the larger platforms, speak at FMS and kind of talk about this. Um, and so we've, we've been talking about it from the publishing side. Um, and at the same time, we've had a lot of folks from uh, the public company space coming to the events. And, and, you know, a lot of you guys know that since about 2018, I've been putting together small um, private events, connecting the publishing and media space with the public company world. Um, we've done pitch events where people can kind of try and the companies are trying to get some earned media for, um, for their company from publishers. Um, we've done things that are more like kind of paid media stuff, um, putting people together and just trying to explore the, the, the opportunities that exist um, between financial publishers, the financial media companies um, that have all the traffic, and these other spaces, right? And so the the idea here for me has been to figure out what all these conversations are, where, where the most opportunities are, kind of understand the context behind a lot of these things and um, figure out who the players are, who are the good players, who are not, because that's a big issue here. Um, and now I'm ready to do this event, which is essentially think of like FMS for investor relations. And so we're going to have um, one set of conversations that is the capital markets world kind of explaining itself to the publishing media world and a little bit more clearly. And so what I mean by that is I have um, this guy, Paul Kessler. He's, he's uh, going to do a talk called Shark Bank, how the fast money makes money. Um, and what he's doing is he's going to be talking about he, he he invests, he's a big pipe investor. He's been doing it since before the term pipe was even used, right? So he's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of companies that he's directly invested in. A pipe, for anyone who doesn't know, is a public in, or a private investment in a public entity, right? So when a major investor, instead of just buying the stock, he goes directly to the company and he invests. Um, and so what he's going to talk about is how kind of the small cap, micro cap, small cap game has always been to a certain degree about building a strong company in a way that can get in front of retail investors to bridge that company in terms of its growth in the markets to the get, be able to get to that five dollars you know above kind of range in the share price where the institutional money might come in so kind of like how retail is a major part of the the small cap world and you know since 2008 
there's been a lot of changes on a regulatory basis that, that kind of affected the broker networks that affected this. You had the E-Trade before that, or the, the online broker world kind of wiping out the small brokers. And so like that whole space had been in kind of a disarray um, to the point that like IPOs dropped dramatically for a bunch of reasons related to that. Um, mm -hmm. And so there's fewer public companies and digital media and publishing is actually one of those things that, that that world sees as kind of an answer and solution to that problem to where, hey, there are channels to get out to um, retail investors at scale to get their, the company story out to really tell the story and try and find the investors who are really excited about the company and want to be a part of the journey. Um, and so we have them come in to kind of explain it from their side and also how they work with publishers, what, what, what they can do to kind of help publishers in terms of finding companies, getting in front of um, the management teams and things like that. And um, if you guys have been coming to some of my events, you know Scott Cohen. Scott um, has actually done the same thing. He was with the other one of the other major groups, Iroquois, that did a lot of the pipes. Um, and now he runs a company called Rap Technologies, um, He's going to come talk about his experience working as a public company with getting, you know, earned media from the publishing space. Um, that's been very successful. And then we're going to have folks like um, Sally Outlaw from Worthy Bonds, who on the reggae side, which is a private capital raise, she's actually sold $246 million worth of real estate bonds to retail investors. So she's going to kind of talk about what um, she's done. She's going to join a panel on messaging because to her, it's kind of the copy piece is critical to make those things work. Um, we have Seth Farbman. Um, who is amazing. He is a uh, transfer agent, right? So somebody who actually manages transferring the shares between investors um, and dealing with all the, there's a whole bunch of stuff that the guy does, right? For, for, for transfer agents. Um, but he's going to talk about how the transfer agent can help both the marketers and the, and the company understand the shareholders of that company and who they are. And there's a lot of communications opportunities there. So that's, you know, kind of, in, it's almost like houseless marketing. Um, so we're going to have that kind of set of conversations. And then we're going to have some case studies from some investor relations folks like Ty Hoffer, who from Winnie Media is going to come talk a lot about what he's doing because he's managed, you know, 155 plus million dollars of investor relations media spend and kind of learned a lot of lessons about what works and what doesn't. He's going to talk probably some case studies there. Um, we have uh, Bill Cates is going to come talk about like um, same thing. He's done a ton of this IR work. Um, he's going to talk about case studies about what's worked for his clients. Um, in some cases, they've added, they've changed just kind of the copy strategy and added 10,000 shareholders for people, um, with people, I should say. Uh, and so we have those kind of people coming. We have some investment bankers coming to kind of talk about their um, view of retail, right? And how, 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 how the space has been changing and how much the financial media and digital marketing is becoming increasingly important to everybody on that side. Um, we're going to have a bunch of publishers kind of come in talking about the um, their perspective on, on a newsletter panel. We'll have compliance conversations. We got some some great SEC lawyers coming down um, to kind of talk through like all the many issues that 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 come from any type of media or marketing related to any type of security. Right. Um, so we have a lot of a lot of things happening here um, that I think are, are really useful. And, and the reason that I'm excited about this, right, from from kind of the publishing world's perspective is as much because uh, this this represents a ancillary set of opportunities for a lot of a lot of the people who are kind of in the middle, right? There's publishers who accept advertising, and for them, obviously, there's advertising opportunity. The ones who don't accept advertising, um, which is I think most of them, um, most of you guys, uh, there's opportunities in terms of just understanding the importance of um, how. Uh, a company that doesn't have any type of a market plan that's a small cap in terms of getting the story out, like that's a real barrier to their ability to grow the business, right? In, in terms of the stock. And so that means that if you're recommending them, it can be a problem because maybe it's a great company, but there's just no one's going to ever hear about it. Um, but for all of those folks who are doing kind of vendor work, whether it's selling advertising, doing media buying, um, copywriting, all this kind of stuff, th there, there's a whole other area of clients that spend, I would say, as much right now as, if not more, than the newsletter world did even in the booms, right? There, there's, a, there's a ton of money over there, and it's very disconnected in those industries. They don't know, there is no platform like FMS for that industry that really understands the marketing piece, right? There's, some invest there's a lot of investor relations stuff that's great, but it's really more about like, the more corporate kind of professional investor relations, um, I shouldn't say professional, but 
the more corporate, they have a lot of other things involved in investor relations besides getting the story out to retail investors. And so we're focusing just on that piece. And so we're getting all the people who are really excited about and interested in that, in this event. So if you have any interest in um, working in that space or understanding that space, um, or if you're selling advertising or services to, um, you know, uh, the public company world, the, the reggae world, that kind of thing, this is the place to go. We'll have, um, you know, we have some great folks. We've got Eton Butler on the on the crowdfunding side and reggae side. He's an investment banker who underwrites a crap ton of the um, reggae's. We have Darren Marble, who's the CEO of Issuance, um, which is another crowdfunding platform coming. We, he'll be... Um, he also is the active producer of Going Public, which is a reality show for um, companies that are raising money online before going public, um, and they're you know broadcast on MarketWatch.com. Um, and so we have a lot of different sides of this coming to talk specifically about the marketing and advertising spend. Um, people who have experience on all sides of it um, coming together probably for the first time in this type of a conversation. So I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, it's in a great location, we're right on South Beach. Um, and that's November 11th and 12th. So if you have any interest, I'll put a link below this video. Check it out. Um, I think there will be, um, yeah, there's there's going to be a ton of interesting opportunities there from a business perspective for everybody. Um, and I'd love to see you guys there. And if not, no worries. I'll see you in, in January at FMS. All right, take care. Bye.